Oh, Junkaholics. Well, it's modem and rotor day at Nice Junk here. And uh, what we're going to be starting off with is this Motorola Codex 2265 data modem. Um, I think it's like uh, really old school and it came part of the telecom package. So I don't see any screws. This door flips open. That's off. That won't be in our way anymore. Um, I don't see screws. There's none underneath the feet, but I do see these little tab thingies. So let's try. Wow. Look at that. There's a lot of dust in there. And uh, this should be fun. Just gonna cut this wire off here. So we can deal with one thing at a time. Or we'll just break the plug off. I believe that, that's going to be the power board. So we'll leave that till last. So we're going to just start unscrewing. Trying to be gentle. Okay, oh, got one of these things. Okay, so let's discuss this board. Um, there's a visible gold. It's not very populated on the back, but I'm thinking it's very well populated. So it's going to be, I'm going to put that in as a high grade telecom. It's got some good weight to it. Lots of IC chips. Very nicely populated. Here we go. Just to unscrew this one. Okay. That's, that's a whole lot of nothing. Again, a very nice two processors. Again, lots of ICs. Not populated on the back. After discussing these boards with uh, Chris at Board Sort, he tells me um, those are gold cap and gold edge CNC boards and they're worth $7.25 a pound. Oh, let's see. Definitely a large socket. Look at all that pretty gold on that chip. It is a... There's no name on it. So I'll have to look that up as well. That's, I'm sure this one's the same. And 
recall. Same pretty chip. More plastic, oh, and there's a fan. I'll be stripping that down, putting down my motors. It's a nice heavy fan, actually. So in here, exactly what I expected, a low grade board, but one, two, three, four, five transformers, uh, five extruded aluminum heat sinks, uh, an IC chip, and that's about it. So now we're gonna do the Linksys RV016 six port, VPN router. Like that. Try that. Piece of plastic. Shred. And in here we got a mid-grade board. So what you're going to want to do is cut these flop packs off. Um, this one here as well. Pop that battery out. Like that. Oh, also this, uh, low grade board here. We're gonna break off the transformers, just a little bit of wire, and that's about it. And then like I say, just pull off these, the rest will go to the shred. And don't forget to unscrew your board, just take a look. This one had nothing on the back side. So next, so next we have a General Instruments uh, DSR-406 satellite receiver. And uh, this was all part of that telecom stuff that I got. Nothing on that little piece of board. Let's take... So all you're going to want to take off of that are these two IC chips. That's plastic. So we've got a power board. Again, pull off the transformers, the offsets, and that's about it. These got them little ears that you straighten out. Yeah. 
Oh, one more over here. You also want to pull that off. This piece of copper, the mouth set, the transformer. And the rest will go in the shred. Back with the piece of wire goes into the, uh, the insulated wire tote. Same thing with this. So, again, keep the batteries out of the landfill or the scrapyard. Wow. That bugger is soldered. So, for our purposes, this is just a mid-grade board. You're gonna to wanna to pull these flat packs off the IC chips. Um, that one. And um, for board sort, that would be about it. And then the rest would just go in the shred. There's these three little copper motors. There's that transformer. So there's not much to that one. And there's also this gold corner VGA. Don't forget him. Next we have this 24 port. It's either a switch, thinking it's a switch, might be a router. Um, here it says, it says um, class one laser product, but I'm going to start off with getting all the screws and uh, we'll take it from there. Here, these are uh, dual fans in line. So we'll do the same thing as we did before, pull them apart and uh, add those motors. There's two of them. Then this blank plug. Uh, let's remove the cover. And we'll pull out this board. Power supply. It also has fans. Here you just... Oh, that's... I'm going to take off these toroids. Uh, see, this is copper. This is a copper board. So you can't even send it as a gold finger board. Um, I'll remove the, the aluminum, the MOF sets, the toroids. And the rest of that's just going to get thrown in the shred. Just, let's see. There is a plate underneath. Again, nothing too remarkable there. Shred. Oh, this might be 
piece of cast aluminum. Okay, so now the board is ready to come out. It's a shred. Like I say, this is a copper board. Take that little bit of steel off. Nice piece of extruded aluminum. And what's this? We've got some kind of a Cisco chip. I'll have to look that up for you. So we've got three of these Cisco chips. Um, there's some aluminum, extruded aluminum, some offsets, transformer, gold corner BGA, a bunch of ICs. Um, I myself, I don't think this is, oh, here's a flat pack. Um, I myself, don't find this a very desirable board because of the copper. So I'm actually gonna depopulate this. And uh, I have four of these in stock. that I'll be taken apart before I send the chips to board sort. On the back side, whole lot of nothing. Unless you're into collecting the MLCCs, there's a lot of MLCCs. A couple IC chips, but nothing to write home about. Hmm. Yeah, it's just a copper board. I want to see underneath one of these. And then there appears to be more flat packs underneath those those uh, aluminum heat sinks. So make sure to leave a comment on this video if you think this board is worth more than just depopulating it. Let's take a look at inside this power supply. Just. Maybe. Pretty big chunk of aluminum, transformers, toroids, basic power supply, and a fan. And here, we actually have a switch. I guess the last one wasn't a switch. It was a rotor. Extreme Networks EPS 180 switch. So... Let's take this apart and see what's inside. This is an empty shell that goes straight to the shred. Tamper proof.
Well, I'm sure this one's going to be the same. Considering they both have the same model number on it. And I was right. So basically just power board, nice juicy transformer, some nice toroids. You know, all I can say is grab the copper and get out. A uh, couple motors, a little bit of wire. Well, that's it for this episode, Nice Junk. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and share and don't forget to subscribe. If you're just joining us, make sure that you watch the two other videos so far in the series. Um, and that was some nice junk. <laughs>